guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another installment in the Back in the Day series. Today we're going to revisit the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. This was a palette that I think a lot of people picked up whenever it came out, mostly because it's just an excellent matte palette with all the basic neutrals that you would need to create any look. Most people use this as foundational eyeshadow and then they add another palette to it, but it is also a very good standalone palette. I love the way that it's organized in four quads and each one can create an eye look, but I tend to bounce around to all the different colors to create the looks that I like. I really love that they have the basic colors up top in really big pans, so the ones that you use the most you're not going to run out of, and I just love the combinations that you can come up with this palette. Today I really just want to do a very simple classic look. I had posted several pictures of myself with this look, and people asked me how to do it, and I guess it looks complex, but it is so very simple. And so today I'm going to show you a look that is basic eyeshadow and big lashes and bold eyeliner and it's kind of a classic almost Audrey Hepburn-esque kind of look. I've always used to, whenever I was young, that was the look I was always going for and so that's what I'm going to show you today. So if you'd like to see how I got the look, please keep watching. Okay, so we're going to start with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot to prime my eyes. I really like this as a primer. It is very emollient. It's very smooth and it really takes care of any discoloration on the eyelid. It also tends to really make the eyeshadows look vibrant. I don't know how it does it, but I think my best eyeshadow look started with this painterly paint pot. I guess I figured out what all the hype was about. <laughs> it's the first time I've had um, a chance to go to a matte counter was around my birthday in June. And so I bought this and Fix Plus and Nylon, just some of those things that I've heard so many people talk about. And now I know why they're talked about so much because they're excellent products. So I'm just going to pat this in from lid all the way up to brow bone. And to set my primer, I'm going to use my Coastal Sense BRC N42 and my Wet n Wild Creme Brulee eyeshadow. There we have a really nice powdered set foundation to build upon. And so these names are crazy. <laughs> so I'll do the best I can to pronounce them correctly, but you just never know. I'm going to start off with my favorite transition brush and fa favorite transition color from this palette. It's called Ludwin, I think. It's got some really funky lettering, kind of like the art on the front. <laughs> and so I can't tell. I think it's L-U-D-W-I-N, Ludwin. Anyways, that's what I'm going to start with with my BH Cosmetics Blender. And this is going to be my transition color. Or basically, what's giving, giving the look any color at all. Because it's going to be really simple and basic for the actual eyeshadow part. But these shadows are pigmented and smooth as butter and blend like a dream. Just excellent, excellent matte shadows. So I just keep adding and blending until this is nice and blended and blown out. It doesn't have to be precise. Okay, using the same color, I'm going to go in with an, a Morphe M433, and I'm just going to tap on one side of my brush 
and then I'm going to turn it over and really tuck it directly and deeply down in the crease. And so what I'm doing is concentrating that color. It's kind of like a very subtle cut crease because it really defines the lower and upper lid area or the mobile eyelid from the upper area. And once I get that placed, I go back in with the blender and just make sure it's nice and smooth. Now there's only two other colors in this look. It's very simple, like I said. Um, I ordinarily, this is the brightest white. This is a little toned down for what I'm looking for. So this is perfect right in the middle. And this shade is called, hang on one second, Succubus. Hmm. Succubus, okay, nice name. And I'm using a Morphe, smudger brush and this is what I'm going to use for um, up underneath my eyebrow I forget how creamy these are and <laughs> got a little happy and got it in my eyebrow there so I'm not going to add any product to this brush I'm just going to use what's left Add just a tad bit more so they look more balanced and then I'm gonna run my finger over it so that the area that got kind of in my eyebrow gets smoothed out and then again I'm just gonna come in and kind of blend between those two lines to make sure that there's nothing too harsh there now for the lid I use the brightest color of white. When I do this kind of basic eyeshadow, I like a really bright eyelid because that makes the black eyeliner show up even more. And for this, I'm going to use the shade Salios. I'm doing the best I can, folks. These are weird names. So I'm using a e.l.f flat shader brush and I'm just going to go all the way across my eyelid and I'm really going to pack that on where the color is very vibrant and opaque nice and bright especially in the inner corner area. And once that's done, I go back with the M433 and just run it right into the crease. So those two colors blend together. So that's it for the top, other than going in with a clean blender and just blending everything out one more time. I try to stay away from the inner corner here. And this is a BH Cosmetics uh, 101 blender. And just in case we lost any intensity, one, letter, one more little pat on the inner corner. From there, the only thing that I'm going to use on my lower lash line is the transition color Ledwin and I'm using a Morphe dome brush and I don't want to make the lower lash line very distinct but I do want to define it just a little bit and I haven't decided about lower lash line and mascara yet because when I used to go for this look I really usually wanted all the emphasis on the top lashes 
and not much on the bottom. But at that time that I used to wear this every day, I didn't ever wear false lashes. And so it didn't look off balance. I think with uh, false lashes, I'm probably going to want to at least put a light coating of mascara on my lower lashes to show that they're there and to kind of balance out the big lashes on the top. So that's it for the eyeshadow. Um, for this look, I obviously want a very dark matte eyeliner, liquid eyeliner that will show up and create a nice wing with that. And what I've been using lately is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. It's a brush tip liner and I just really love the color, the finish, and the staying power. But before I put on the eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and, and curl my eyelashes so that the eyelash curler doesn't disrupt the liner once I get it there. If you get a fierce wing liner, you don't want to jack with it, right? get those wings. I'm going to move my camera down just a tad so I can make sure that when I lean into my mirror I'm still in the frame. So here we go. Since I have some really bold liner and I don't want, I do want big lashes, but I don't want all of the eyeshadow to be covered up, um, I'm going to use the Christina Wispies. They're very pretty and very long and fluttery, but they're not extremely voluminous. They're more lengthening and they are really beautiful and they really give drama to the eye look, but they don't overtake the entire eye where you can't see what's on the lid. So I'm going to go in with those. They're already... This is a new pair. They're already cut and fit to my eyes, so I'm ready to roll. Get them on my eyes. Is there anybody else who says a prayer before they do their false lashes? <laughs> Putting some Kiss Lash Adhesive Glue on this first eyelash. All right, going in with my e.l.f. tweezers. And placing this first lash. those are. They're very crisscrossy, very fluttery, they're beautiful. They're also very light, the band is almost non-existent, <laughs> and they're very comfortable. I just realized that I forgot to put mascara on before the lashes, so 
I really do feel like I need to do a little bit to my lower lashes. So while those dry, I will um, put some on my lower lashes. And then when those dry, I will go ahead and put some on my top lashes. This is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara. Yeah, I think that's gonna help balance them out real well. See the difference? It just gives a little bit of color down there so that you can, so your lower lashes are saying, I'm here. Or if you're like me, the very few that you have are saying, don't forget about me. And obviously it's preferable to put the mascara on before the lashes and then go back and put a little bit more. But since I forgot, I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. And also blend the two together. While I let those dry completely, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lipstick. Today I'm gonna to use the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner in Lovecraft. And I'm gonna use the NYX Turned Up Lipstick in Tools. It'll be the first time for this lippy, so I hope I like it. interesting it has a little taupey grayish feel to it but it's really smooth and I think it looks good with this look I think the lip liner is a little too pinky Lolita probably would have been a better choice but I'm gonna blend these together with my finger Right, I like that. Um, I'm just gonna take a look at my eyelashes and see if there's, I think I'm gonna use my um, lash tool and go in and squeeze these together. My natural lashes and the falsies. Just on the outside. Sometimes, especially whenever I am wearing a pair of lashes for the first time that's trying to stick, so I'm not gonna do it on that side. Um, they like to curl a little bit on the outside corner and it doesn't attach very flesh. But I'm gonna go back through real quick here and just go along the lash band and cover up any glue that's showing. And just make sure the lash band is very concealed. All right. I like that. I think that's very pretty. Especially with these big wispy lash lashes. <laughs> okay, as a finishing touch, I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter and just give my face a spritz to lock this all in. Okay guys, this is the finished look. Here's a close up. It's a very simple look, but it's a very classic look and I think it's beautiful. I think it kind of gives a lot of emphasis to the, the liner and the lashes. So some days you just feel like being extra lashy. I feel like being extra lashy today. 
I hope you like it. I think it's very pretty and it's something that I wear quite often. So thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time, you take care and God bless. Bye guys.